So for the rest of this video, I'm going to be doing a screen grab, so you won't see my actual face. But considering this is concerning DNA, I thought you might want to see my appearance if you haven't seen it in some of my other videos. So now I'll get into the text and graphs in the report of my specific DNA report. So a lot of people are doing DNA reveals now. It's a popular thing to do. Um, I have a lot of people ask me what I am, not just on YouTube, but throughout my life. So I thought I would reveal that. So I've redacted out some information, just kind of for personal protection. But I mean, you can see that you know my full name would be here. DNA Consultants supervised the software for this um, and testing. Um, you can look, you can pause this and look, they go into detail about, you know, what is kind of autosomal markers and DNA and what's a fingerprint and a profile. Uh, but basically, I wanted an autosomal test that would give me uh, CODIS markers. Uh, these are my results, although I've redacted out the, the information. But you can see it says, you know, the green and yellow markers are CODIS markers. Uh, CODIS has the largest uh, population database in the world. Um, so I understand that these results are a little bit more accurate versus like the, you know, Ancestry.com and, you know, 23andMe are more like fun. Let me see what I've got, but they're not very accurate versus the autosomal CODIS markers are supposedly more accurate to determine population. I don't know. I'm not a geneticist. Uh, it was just based on my research. So what they do is they give you... Um, they call it a rank, but it says uh, they're not in any strict order. Uh, it's just they're sort of 50 guesses on what population you might be a part of. And you can see it's a lot of Spain, Portugal, India, Caucasian, Moroccan, Arab, Brazilian, some European, Caucasian, um, Michigan Native American, um, Athabascan, Amazonian, Brazilian, Hispanic, it's kind of all over the place. It's a distribution of my profile frequency. I don't know what that means. Um, something to do with the statistics of it. But you'll see um, it's an AT marker ethnic panel. Um, talks about the nature of autosomal DNA and how one sibling can inherit something and another sibling not. Um, but that shows basically that I have a little bit of everything from everybody. And then this gives my top allele matches based on those 18 markers. These are the 18 locations that those individual markers are the most prevalent. Doesn't necessarily mean that I relate directly to any of those people or that I'm part of that population. It's just that that is where those markers are most prevalent within populations. And then... This just goes through and tells you a little bit about each one of the markers, where people lived in the past and where they're going. If you have any interest in this, you can pause and read these just sort of generalized um, information. So now I'm going to go down and show uh, my composite allele match. Um, so the CODIS markers are broken down into four groups, Caucasian, Sub-Saharan African, Native American, and Asian and you can see my distribution of uh, composite allele matches so it's a lot of uh, markers I think this is like 90 markers so 51% Caucasian 7% Sub-Saharan African 34% Native American 8% Asian and it's very difficult to tell like on that Asian well does that come from some groups in Europe that have a lot of Asian DNA like some Irish and stuff or is that Asian DNA that came across the land bridge? You know, so it's kind of hard to see where that goes. Because as far as I know, I don't have any uh, direct Asian ancestry. As far as the Sub-Saharan African, um, some of that could be mixed in those other populations, especially people coming from, um, you know, the Iberian Peninsula. I also live in the south of the United States. Most people live in the south, whether they accept it or not tend to have at least noticeable or measurable uh, amounts of 
African just due to the history of the United States and especially the South. So these are the composite matches uh, for my X and Y chromosome. Uh, the percentages are not listed, but it gives you sort of an idea of kind of where um, those top percentages come from, just visually. And this is a map that they provide, it kind of shows you the general historical movements of people over time out of Sub-Saharan Africa um, into the rest of the world via certain routes over time. You can see there's some back and forth even within Africa. Uh, even with the Native Americans, they went across the Bering Land Bridge. They now know some came back. So there's a lot of movement historically uh, with people. And then you can see these are my overall matches with populations around the world. The dark blue or the blue, bright blue, is a strong match. The yellow is a weak match. Um, and then you can kind of see the in-between colors. Like you can see, you know, this is a very strong blue. Um, this is strong yellow. So you can see kind of some of these that are kind of mixes of the two. As far as I... I can tell by the science of DNA, that's approximately me. Thank you for watching.